Um, last but not certainly not least, uh, the man who will lead us to a pro-reproductive freedom majority in the United States House of Representatives, the leader, Hakeem Jeffries, recognized for five minutes. Thank you so much, uh, Chairwoman Wasserman Schultz, for convening us for this incredibly important uh, hearing here today to all of my colleagues uh, in government, to all of you uh, in the audience who've joined us here today, and certainly to uh, the witnesses for uh, your time and your testimony here that will make a difference. And as Co-Chair Kildee indicated, you know, our resolve going back to Washington is strengthened as it relates to making sure that we do everything in our power to protect the woman's freedom to make her own reproductive health care decisions and pass the Women's Health Protection Act. <laughs> Mrs. Elador, uh, your testimony made clear that the abortion care issue is fundamentally uh, about freedom. And we want to protect it. The extremists uh, clearly want to take it away and impose government mandated pregnancies, which is anti-freedom, as Congressman Frost pointed out and my other colleagues. Do you believe that Governor DeSantis and right-wing politicians should play any role in deeply personal reproductive health care decisions? Absolutely not, by all costs, no. And why is it problematic that MAGA extremists are trying to insert themselves in decisions that you clearly have indicated the government should play no role in whatsoever. First of all, I'm African American. I'm a minority. I'm Haitian. I'm a woman. I already have everything stacked against me. Mm. And many people that are in the situation of IVF and all, this is the same thing we deal with. Just like you said, we are running out of doctors that actually deeply care, yet alone fighting now government officials that actually deeply care. So we need all the help that we can get. So the lack of medical providers is already a stake for us, but we're tired of fighting. Honestly, with IVF, and we're just simply tired of fighting because we're fighting every single day with our own bodies. Now I gotta give the right to someone else, someone else to make that decision for me. That's not fair. Well, we're here to make clear that we're gonna fight with you and the people of Florida until we restore reproductive health care freedom. And as I, as I close, um, thank you, Ms. Dobert, for your testimony here today, really um, taking the pain and um, doing all that you can to turn it into progress for the people of Florida. Uh, and your testimony was profound, it was powerful, it was poignant. Um, the women of Florida here, of course, now face a cruel, a dangerous, and an extreme six-week abortion ban. What is your message to the women and to the people of Florida? Well, thank you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your powerful testimony. It has been personally moving to me, to I think all of us. It speaks for itself in terms of what has been unnecessarily and cruelly inflicted upon you, your son, your husband, and your family. Uh, and why it's so important for us to make sure that all of us collectively do everything that we can uh, to ensure that the amendment that will be before the people of Florida restores a woman's freedom to make her own reproductive health care decisions in November. Thank you, and I yield back. Thank you.